Let's learn together about product packaging in international trade. In international trade, packaging includes transport package and sales package. First, let's learn about transport package. Transportation methods determine the type of transport package used, which typically includes boxes, bags, sacks, barrels, shipping containers, pallets, and so on. There is also nude packaging, used for round steel, steel plates, wood, and so on. Loose packaging is used for materials such as coal, ore, grains, and oil. In addition, transport package includes shipping marks, which are also an important component of transport package. Like shipping mark, which consists of simple geometric shapes, letters, numbers, and basic tests. It mainly includes the consignee code, consigner code, destination name, package number, or batch number, as well as indicative mark. According to the characteristics of the goods, requirements, precautions, warning signs. And signs indicating the hazardous nature and classification of goods, such as explosives, flammable materials, corrosive substances, etc., that are prone to breakage, damage, and deterioration in handling, transportation, and storage conditions. Transportation packaging must meet the following requirements to ensure the smooth progress. Of international trade. First, it must adapt to the characteristics of the goods. Second, it must meet the requirements for various transportation modes. Third, it should facilitate the operation of relevant personnel at various stages. Finally, while ensuring sturdy packaging, it should also save costs. In addition, what does a packaging clause in a sale contract usually include? Generally, it includes packaging materials, packaging methods, packaging costs, and packaging markings. Having learned about transport packaging, next we will learn about sales package. Sales package includes single packing, inner packaging. Primary packaging, sales package not only protects the quality of the product, but also enhances its value. The requirements for sales package are as follows: first, it should be convenient for displaying goods; second, it should facilitate easy identification of the product; third, it should be portable and user friendly. Finally, it should possess artistic appeal. Sales package generally consists of three parts, namely, decorative visuals, text descriptions, and barcodes. The decorative visuals on sales package should be visually appealing, highlighting the unique features of the product. The patterns and colors should be designed to align with the cultural habits and preferences of the relevant country. Sales package should also include necessary text descriptions such as trademarks, product names, place of origin, quantity, specifications, ingredients, usage, and instructions. A barcode refers to a product code consisting of a series of parallel lines of varying thickness, alternating between black and white, along with corresponding numbers. Regarding the use of barcodes on sales packaging, there are also different encoding methods. Taking the EAN consumer unit code as an example, it consists of a prefix code. Manufacturer code, product code, and a checksum. In total, 
It consists of thirteen digits. Apart from transport package and sales package, when conducting international trade and selling goods, customized product packaging is generally divided into packing of nominated brand and neutral packaging. Packing of nominated brand refers to the use of the buyer's designated trademarks and brand names on exported goods and their packaging. The adoption of packing of nominated brand aims to leverage the reputation of both the buyer and their brand to expand the market for the goods. Exported goods from China that adopt packing of nominated brand usually need to indicate "Made in China." Neutral packaging refers to generic packaging. On exported goods and their inner and outer packages, without indicating the country of origin, the adoption of neutral packaging is primarily driven by the need to meet the specific requirements of foreign markets, such as re-export sales, or to break the tariff and non-tariff barriers imposed by certain importing countries. Let's now proceed to the in-class practice. A foreign businessman intends to purchase the chrysanthemum brand wrenches, but requests a change to shark brand, and specifies that the country of origin should not be indicated. Questions: Should our company accept this? What issues should we pay attention to? Regarding the request from the other party. It is, in fact, for branded neutral packaging. Generally speaking, it can be accepted. However, the following issues should be noted. Firstly, when accepting a designated brand or trademark, it is important to understand whether the brand or trademark has been registered by a third party overseas. Secondly, for the sake of safety. It is advisable to include in the contract a clause stating that the buyer shall be responsible in the event of any industrial property disputes. Next, let's explore further by analyzing potential mistakes in the transportation packaging. Feel free to leave comments for discussion after class. Thank you for listening.